What's up guys, Chris Siglanski here and today we're going to be taking a closer look at the 2021 Specialized S-Works Tarmac SL7. This is a brand new platform, redesigned, and a lot of people don't know this, but Specialized going forward, they're no longer going to be making the Venge frame set. I'm kind of bummed about that because I live here in South Florida and Aero is everything down here. All the guys are looking for the lightest, fastest, stiffest bike that they can get their hands on with really really deep dish wheels to allow them to hold that top speed longer um, with all the fast group rides down here but let's take a look at this bike so this is a brand new platform right it, it kind of has a lot of properties and similarities to the Venge being that it has the same Aerofly handlebar that we saw on the previous model of the Venge frame so this is the Aerofly 2 handlebar um, they kind of took the same stem from the Venge, but they kind of like made it a little slimmer, um, more sleeker, which really looks cool. And they kept the same S-Works power saddle, which this is the most used and sought after saddle that Specialized has been putting on most of their bikes. And it, it comes in a standard 143 millimeter. So I like that saddle a lot. And this model is the, the SRAM, not the SRAM, I'm sorry, with the Shimano Durace di2 and we thought that we were going to see a brand new group set this year with shimano we didn't they kept the same one but what they did on this model so specialized is also no longer going to be making their s-works power cranks they're i think for cutting cost reasons i'm not exactly sure why but they're just sticking with if it's shimano it's going to get durace or altegra if it's shram you're going to get the shram right or shram force but we are seeing how most pro bikes are set up. You're, getting, you're still getting a power meter. So this, you're gonna specialize power meter on the SRAM model. You'll get the SRAM integrated power meter built into the cranks, which is still really cool. Um, but also, I did really like and enjoy the SRX ones because they're carbon, they're super light and very stiff. One thing also on this bike that I did like and I noticed a lot on the newer models compared to the older models the junction box is no longer in the handlebar or under the stem they put the junction box behind the seat post which is really really cool i like it a lot i think it's flush a lot of people um thought it was a really neat place to put it being that tire up here and not under the handlebar if you if you got in a crash or something it's not gonna you know break loose from under here it's kind of more protected and higher up there into the seat post which looks really cool taking a look at the wheel set so this is going to be the brand new Revol uh rapid wheel set which is a staggered wheel set and if you guys saw in the previous video i put the same exact wheel set on my s-works venge the peter sagan edition but i had the team white so this is going to be a model that it's going to come on this bike because Specialized when they built this frame set, they made this colorway in both either Shimano or SRAM. And what I like about this wheel set also is compared to the other frame models, the complete builds, the Revol on it is dimmed and it's kind of it's more matted, kind of like the carbon fiber here. But on this model, to match with the gloss specialized, they kind of glossed out that Revol, which I think looks really sick. Looks really, really good. Um, when you kind of look at the bike from afar, everything just kind of flows perfectly. And this colorway is a matte black chameleon, of which we've seen Specialized kind of do chameleon frames before. It'd be more purplish, blue, gloss. We've never seen him do something like this before. This is um, greenish, purple, but still matte, sleek, uh, very stealthy looking, very aero looking when you look at it from the side or from the front. I think the bike looks really, really cool. Um, this year, they carried on obviously that Dairy, uh the Di2, which we've seen in models before. Uh, we talked about the crank set, but I, we thought that they're going to release a brand new one. I heard around um, January, February, they're going to come out with a brand new group set. We haven't seen it yet. We thought we we're going to see it with this bike or even with the new Athos. But honestly, I love this group set. I personally think this group set's phenomenal. They use it for three plus years. Never had a power problem with it. Shifts smooth, super light. I like how the, the hoods are very, very ergonomic, very small, very sleek. This year, you're also getting with your bike, you're getting Supercast Bartek, which a lot of people would 
that's like one of the not major upgrades but one of the upgrades i always tell people hey if you don't wear gloves and you're riding your bike on a daily basis supercast bar tape this super sticky cush is what they call it is very very grippy um i know a lot of people would run the lizard skin bar tape was really popular from years ago years prior or specialized had the hd bar tape which was really really nice and grippy but the cool thing about this company the bar tape lasts a really long time especially if you don't wear gloves like i don't wear gloves when i ride and it just has a really neat star pattern to it and actually the owner fun fact the owner of specialized mike senior his son owns this company super guy so i guess uh he reached out to his dad he's like hey dad <laughs> we gotta get these on the new bikes and his dad obviously listened to him and went ahead and threw these on on the new bike i like them they're really cool really grippy really arrow also one thing i did want to point about out to go back into the talking about the wheels is on this wheel set it's staggered not only in depth and millimeters but in fr in the front millimeter on the width so if you could see where the carbon is i mean these are, these are turbo cotton tires how the, the carbon fiber sticks out farther than the wheel and i believe this is just a 26. if you did do a 28 it'd make it more flush that's what i did with my venge kind of i wanted to kind of not have that rim gap so far out where the tire is so i went ahead and did uh, the 28s and it'll clear the forks i mean you have plenty of room up there you have plenty of room in the back on that rear triangle for a bigger tire size which it looks like a lot of people are going with the wider tire size i mean when i first got into cycling around 2015 guys were running 23 24s now it looks like over the last couple of years, guys are going to 26, 25 and 26s. Uh, Continental makes a GP5000. A lot of people are running those 700 by 26, 25 tires and specialized. We're, me and all the guys at the shop, we were running the uh, SRX Turbos or Turbo Cons and a 24, 26. Within the last two years, it looks like everybody's going wider. So everybody's going to 28, um, 28Cs. I guess it's like a comfort thing because down here gravel biking has become very very popular and also for the road biking a lot of people are just looking for more comfort so i guess with a wider platform tire it's just going to add a lot more com comfortability to your ride and it makes sense i like it i honestly found myself not wanting to go bigger than 24 26 um now i'm running 28s on my sagan avenge on my older style avenge i am running 26s which i'm okay with but i know on the older style frames it wouldn't clear the the front fork or the rear triangle where the seat stay or the chain stay is so that's for that's my reasoning but i think going forward on, on most of my bikes i am going to do that 28 wheel set and that's pretty much it man this bike is super light um there's specialized it's claiming in a 56 centimeter which this is the bike is around 15 pounds i think 11 ounces or so give or take which that's insane i mean for a bike with disc brakes that's super super light i mean we've seen specialized do this before on on some of their bikes where i remember what two years ago they released the specialized so6 ultralight and that bike with rim brake i think it had the ee cycle works brakes on there was under 15 pounds but to have a bike to be fully equipped in this size with disc brakes to be around 15 pounds is insane um this bike is a 12 r carbon that's probably why it's it's really light i know a few years back when they, they teamed up with mclaren they mclaren and then did the 12 r carbon it was insanely light so to see them kind of push this forward on the sl7 is a huge huge plus so thumbs up for specialized for doing that and with, we're going to take this thing out this build is actually going to be for my buddy pete over at hd works but he, he's, he wants to opt for the SRAM Grupo. So we're gonna take this thing apart today and then we're gonna build it up with a SRAM Red ETAP. And once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, give you guys another review and we'll talk about that bike some more. But that being said, if you guys have any qu questions, comments, and concerns, just uh, drop it down in the drop down box and go ahead and like, subscribe, and we'll see you next time, guys. Later.